Israel doesn't see Christians and Muslims. They don't see church or mosque. They see Palestinian. They bomb churches. They bomb mosques. But the truth is they bombed every church. It's striking to me that I am actually being attacked for speaking up for truly the most powerless people on the earth, the, the people of Gaza, specifically the Christians in Gaza. And that Christians, I've been told to hush up, to zip it, that if, you, if I want to continue to advocate for vulnerable communities that have any legitimacy or credibility, that I should, I'm confusing people. I've been told, I quote unquote, I'm confusing people by sharing the truth about the persecution of the Christians in Gaza. But of course, it's not just the Christians in Gaza. Israel doesn't see Christians and Muslims. They don't see church or mosque. They see Palestinian. They bomb churches. They bomb mosques. But the truth is they bombed every church. St. Porpheus was bombed uh, twice this week. And there's a young man who works for us. His father died. His sister was killed by the IDF, 18 years old. And just this past week, his other sister was wounded when his church was bombed again, and his cousin was wounded. And I'm often called a liar, a propagandist for Hamas. Uh, but the reality is Ecclesiastes 4.1 has always inspired me since even before I was a Christian, it haunted me when I read it. Solomon said, I look all over the world and all I see is oppression. And on the side of the oppressor is power. And on the side of the oppressed, there is no one. How haunting is this? But of course, with the second person of the Trinity, with the mystical body of Christ, things are different today than when Solomon said these words. Now, when we look all over the world, we should see the body, mystical body of Christ. We should see Christians standing with the Yazidi, that they're a pre-monotheistic community, or the, the Uyghur, the ethnic minority, predominantly Muslim, suffering ethnic cleansing and genocide in, in, in East Turkestan, Chinese-occupied East Turkestan. But how much more so when you think in that wonderful book by Fulton Sheen on the mystical body of Christ, he says that the foundation of solidarity in the world, the foundation of world order, is the solidarity of Christians around the world. How shameful it is that people think that they can bully me or that they've been bullied and they've been silenced and um, they're afraid to speak up for the most vulnerable people in the world, the Palestinian families in Gaza. They're, they're standing up against multiple nuclear powers, the UK, the United States, Britain, We've just sent billions of dollars of weapons for a community of like less than several hundred thousand adults. And of course, Hamas is, is 40,000 fighters. But we now know that there are over 40,000 dead civilians. And uh, the real numbers, there are probably around 30,000 dead children. And the idea that I'm going to be silent, uh, it's, it's absurd. I can't be silent. I should close down my apostolate and cease everything I'm doing around the world. John Henry, if I cannot advocate for the descendants of the apostles, when we think of an ax in the upper room, there was Jew, there was Arab, there were Africans, there were Asians, there were Romans, there were Greeks, their descendants we call Palestinians. The church in Gaza, the churches in West Bank, these are literally the descendants of the first century Christians. How foolish it is to be silent in advocating for them.